Hey guys, so we're going to jump in today's video straight away, starting off with the Farsali Unicorn Essence just to prep my skin for foundation. And then I was going to try this new Mecha Max Life Proof Longwear Foundation. I have it in the shade Caramel 8.0. I was sent this, but I have a feeling it might be a little too dark for me. I tried it on my cheek a little bit with a beauty blender, and yeah, kind of decided it wasn't really for my current skin tone. Maybe if I picked up a bit of a tan, this would work, but right now it's just a little too yellow and a little bit too dark for me. So I ended up wiping that off and going in with the Fenty Beauty Pro Filter Foundation. I have it in the shade 350, which at first looks really funny against my neckline, but in person it looked fine. So it could just be an illusion of the lighting that I have set up, but I was happy with the way it looked. I ended up wearing it all night until about 2am, so I was really happy with the way it looked um, at the end of the night. I really like this foundation for um, long nights because it does have a bit of a drier formula so I don't get as oily or anything like that. I don't need to touch up constantly. Next I'm going with the Mecha Max Life Proof Cream Concealer in the shade Tan 9.0. I wasn't too impressed with how it didn't quite completely cover my the darkness on my eyelids but it did a pretty good job underneath my eyes so I guess I'll keep using it underneath my eyes instead. Uh, setting that all in place with the Ben Nye Banana Powder, I also applied a little bit of this powder to my T-zone um, before going back in. I didn't set my cheeks though because I wanted to further conceal a few breakouts I currently have and to do this I used the It Cosmetics Bye Bye Breakout Full Coverage Treatment Concealer. I use the shade Rich but I could probably afford to go a shade darker um, but yeah just pop that on my blemishes and then set that down with the Ben Nye Banana Powder as well and I was really happy with how it looked and we'll see if it kind of helps dry out my pimples as well at the same time. So moving on to brows I'm going to be using the Benefit Cosmetics Cabral Pomade in the shade 6 Deep. I have been loving this product lately. I don't know what it is like I used to think I ended up with really blocky brows when I used any sort of gel or pomade but this one just seems to work for me maybe it's a little brush maybe I've just you know practice has made a little me a little bit more perfect with my eyebrows but I've been loving this product lately um, and then I am going to I haven't set them yet because I kind of forgot I ended up doing that later in the video but moving on um, to eyeshadow I'm going to be using the new Anastasia Beverly Hills soft glam eyeshadow palette I ended up using about nine of the shades in this palette for this look, um, but that was just me pretty much playing around and, you know, seeing how I like the shades. So starting off with Burnt Orange, I'm just using that as a transition shade, buffing that onto the outer V and into my crease. And then to create a bit of a blended effect, I'm going to be going with Rustic and pretty much doing the same, not as, I guess, loosely as I did with Burnt Orange, but still in the crease and on the outer V. Then to further deepen up the crease, I'm going in with the shade, shade Sienna from the palette. Um, this one actually looked super different on my eyelid to how it did in the palette, but I really liked how it looked in the end. Um, and then I went in with Mulberry, which I would say was kind of the hero shade for this look, and I just uh, packed that onto the outer V of my um, eyelid and into the crease a little bit as well. Moving on to the lower lash line, I just used Mulberry tightly against my lower lash line and then blended it out with Rustic. Uh, for my mobile lid, I'm going to be going with the shade Sultry, and then I felt like there was a gap kind of on my inner corner, like I'll put a shimmery shade in a second, but there was just all this kind of missing section, so I just popped a little bit of orange soda in there before going in with glistening as my uh, brow bone and inner corner highlight. Uh, next I wanted a bit of a, a not so precise wing liner, so I went in first with the black eyeshadow in the palette, uh, the shade Noir. And pretty much created my wing with that and then I felt like it kind of needed to be balanced out a little bit so I popped a little bit onto like the outer third of my lower lash line and kind of connected it to the wing that I had created on my top lash line. Next I'm going to take a little bit of the shade bronze just on my fingertip and just pat that on the center of my eyelid. I just like how the light picks up on this. Uh, the shade is called bronze but it's more of a really yellow golden type shade so I'm not really sure why they called it bronze but it is gorgeous nonetheless. And then I'm going in with my L'Oreal gel liner in black to apply to my tight line on my waterline and then also just um, create a bit of a precise black line with a bit of a wing um, just because I'm going to wear falsies so it will just kind of cover up where the false lashes stick to my eyelids. 
Next, I remember to set my brows, so I used the Benefit Cosmetics 24-hour brow setter um, before popping on some falsies. These are the Nakia Joy Cosmetics Lashes in the style Melanie. Um, moving back to complexion, I use the Marc Jacobs Contour Powder in Hi-Fi Filter. And for blush, I don't think this is sold anymore, I'm not sure, but I have the Kat Von D Duo Blush in Hansel and Gretel. And then a bit of a hero of the um, video as well. This is a newbie. This is the Amrezy Highlighter from Anastasia Beverly Hills, and it is absolutely beautiful. My cousin Zyra absolutely convinced me to buy it, so and I have absolutely no regrets. I, I, I adore it. For lips, I wanted to go pretty neutral, so I stuck with the Huda Beauty Liquid Mac Matte Lipstick in the shade Spice Girl. And then, once that dried, I popped on a layer of the It Cosmetics Butter Gloss in News Anchor Blue. This just created a really nice glossy look and toned down the warmness of the lip a little bit. So that is the finished look. I really hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, don't forget to subscribe, and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye!